AVC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video here. Uh, this is going to be a, a response to a thread that JC over at the flip side. Um, tell me you guys know JC. If for some reason you don't, get over to that link right down below. Sub his channel. Uh, awesome guy. One of the coolest guys in the VC. I mean, musical knowledge is just kind of you know absolutely amazing and just one of those guys just always a pleasure to watch so if you don't know him get over to his channel and subscribe to him you definitely won't regret it um, he put up a really cool thread a little while ago I think it was called something like the lost lost classics I think of the 90s is what it was and just like the title you know kind of infers it's just about some of those bands and artists from the 90s that um, you know, there's certain names that always come right to mind when you think about the 90s with your Nirvanas, your Pearl Jams, you know, blah, blah, blah. But there were some of those bands that were awesome that just, you know, just kind of lost classics, so to speak. And so, uh, yeah, I've been wanting to jump on this, but I've had a hard time, you know, finding answers to it. And I think that's mainly because I've always had this thing with music where I've always felt like all the stuff that I like is the most common mainstream stuff that everybody already knows, everyone has already heard, and everyone already has. Uh, that's just like a feeling that I've always had. I've never been one of those people that feels like, you know, oh, I'm, you know, like nobody listens to the music I, I listen to, you know, I'm, I, I'm into, like I've, I've never been a guy that felt like that, uh, which is always interesting because in so many of my videos, what I hear from people is, I've never heard of that band. I've, and I'm like, wow, like why, why would I think that everyone knows this band? And so many people are telling me they've never heard of this band or artist. It's just, it's a weird thing that I've always had. But anyway, that made it kind of hard for me to pick some stuff for this because I'm thinking all my 90s stuff is just common. But anyway, just kind of sharing that little piece of me. I did come up with one, I think maybe two that I'll be able to make a couple of different videos here. But the one I'm going to talk about today is this one here, which is Space Hog uh, Resident Alien. This is their release from 1995, I believe. Uh, yeah, 95. And um, I think definitely kind of falls right into that that 90s Lost Classic. Um, as you can see with the hype sticker there, you know, it says um, the 1995 Glam Rock Classic. Uh, so I guess that's kind of the, the genre that people might want to kind of throw them into. But there's a lot of things that kind of screams 90s all over this. Uh, the song In the Meantime is definitely the song that brought me to the band when I first heard it back in the day. And still one of my favorite songs to this day. I mean, just one of the, those awesome, big, soaring 90s type of choruses. But uh, it's kind of, you know, really catchy and, you know, all that good stuff. Um, you know, overall, it's kind of one of those those really strong bass driven type of pop glam rock albums uh, you know that was kind of something that was big in some places in the 90s especially on kind of slower tracks you know more mellow tracks where the the bass groove is really what kind of guided the, the song um, you know kind of like a like a Jane Says by by Jane's Addiction like th that type of you know bass driven groove thing and you find a lot of that on uh, on this album on the, the slower tracks on this album so if you're not familiar with it definitely in the meantime is my absolute favorite song off of the album without question um, then when you go to songs like um, I think is it Starside which is again it's one of those those really bass groovy slow kind of tracks I think the other probably close to hit off of the album um, after in the meantime would be cruel to be kind a matter of fact, when you when you hear that, you'll probably say if you ha if you're not familiar with them, when you hear that song, you'll probably be like, "Oh yeah, I, I remember that song." And you know, it's definitely one of those uh, American Pie type of pop songs from from the '90s with uh, with uh, "Cruel to Be Kind." Um, and there was one other on here too that was very similar. I'd say it's actually been a little while since I've I've listened to this. I think it was uh, the Last Dictator. I think that that was the name of kind of that same thing, that, that that slow bass groove 90s type of thing. But uh, yeah, overall, really, really cool album. Um, definitely one I recommend checking out. And if you, know, if, you, if you don't recall it from the 90s, and then let me know what you think about it if you do. So as always, VC, thanks for checking out. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care, guys.